We are not even willing. Nobody is interested in joining a hand with a government that we have not. Um, you see, there's this legitimacy problem hanging on the shoulders of this government. And we have said it. Even we, after the Supreme Court had ruled. The Supreme Court itself now has suffered legitimacy, as it were. We are being laughed at internationally. Everybody looks at Nigeria. What's wrong with these people? Are they truly serious? You begin to see something that defies even the spirit of law, not common sense. And these people will come and tell you, anyways, these are not uh, good times for all of this conversation. Right. What we're talking about now is whether we are satisfied with the speech, whether there's hope in the speech of Mr. President. Mm -hmm. I can tell you that it's as dead as it comes. No Nigerian is taking, not even he that read that scripted speech. Because he doesn't even understand the terms of those speech. He doesn't understand the, the, the meaning of what he was reading. Even when the president says, look, I will remove and fight, remove all the obstacles that inhibit business, you know, doing business in Nigeria. He also talked about, uh, you know, a living wage for Nigerian workers. Mm. We, we hear it's to take off from April 1. You, you might say it's April, Fool, uh, April Fool's Day. But, I mean, are you saying there's no hope at all in the speech of uh, President Ibrahim. I will return here and confirm this to you, Ngozi. There's no hope. There's no light at the end of the tunnel. These people are bereft of idea. They are very, very poor in even comprehending what is before them as responsibility. People have continued to carry on as though everything is fine with Nigeria. And some, someone is demonstrating, these are grandstanding that these people are just putting before Nigeria.